Welcome everyone to September's monthly musing. This month, there's two things on my um, mind. One is having just come out of the Democratic National Convention, and this isn't about politics, but there was something that happened that was really beautiful, and it segues really perfect to our theme of this month, which is the orientations, this core component that can guide us and support us in our upward spiral of evolution. These four orientations that help us to navigate life and they are um, present again in this moment. There was something that happened in that conference that was really beautiful. It was a moment of unity. It was giving a very large group of people an experience of what it feels like when we come into union, when we move towards unity, when we come together. And that was the loudest thing that happened for me in that conference. And it did something. You felt what happened to the energy. If you were tuned into it, you got to experience what that energy is like when we tap into that upward spiral. And unity is a fast track <laughs> to tapping into that energy. And it brings joy and it brings hope and it's part of moving towards the new. So it doesn't really matter what political party you participate or affiliate with. It doesn't, please, it doesn't matter in this moment. What I'm pointing to for all of us, because it's actually a moment where more and more of us need to come together. We need to cross lines. It is what is healing the polarization that's what you could feel in the field. It was an invitation to all of us, Americans in particular, but it has, what happens in America has an effect in the rest of the world because we are all connected. Yes, so that feeling of unity is connected to love and love is the very center of our spiral, right? It's what is it's that place that where we begin and where we return to. So unity is a part of how we come closer to our essence, to our realization of what it is to be human. And that message of hope and caring what happens to your neighbors <laughs> and reaching across the party lines to work together towards a common goal. This is what we hope to expand into more circles, into more countries across country lines, into our global field, and even perhaps past the global field, <laughs> eventually into our relationship as a planet in the cosmos. Spiraling back now to what this has to do with our theme. One of the things that was happening for me, and, and I've noticed that it's continuing, is my, um, what happens in that energy of unity is that something opens in us. One of the orientations, these four orientations, is opening and part of why opening is powerful and important is that it creates space <clears throat> and by creating space um, it like adds wind to the upward spiral it elevates it it carries it further opening carries us further. And we had a taste of that in that 
convention and it has stayed with me. I have been reminded almost daily of the power I have to choose because there is a choice that is connected to opening. Sometimes we're not able to choose. Sometimes we're dealing with something that where the opening is not possible, okay? And that's okay. But often the opening is possible. Often it's a slight shift in perspective, in choice. And I've had almost daily moments where life has given me opportunity to choose to open. And as I have caught that moment and moved towards the moment of kind of a little bit of reactivity in me, and I have slowed down enough to choose to open my system and make space for what was happening around me, I have noticed how powerful it is. I had a moment yesterday with Pier Paolo. And it comes back to love for me because there's also, when I, I've noticed in my communication <laughs> that, and this is what I want to point all of us to, okay, for this month. I want to point all of us to using the orientations daily, especially in our communication with our loved ones, with our children, with the people around us, with our neighbors, just to um, kind of turn up the dial of our self-awareness. Mm -hmm. Because if you notice as you move through the day, there will be moments where your energy kind of gets caught a little bit. Like there's the moments where it's just flowing and it's happening and you're not really thinking about anything. It's just in the process and that's beautiful. And then there's moments where you kind of get like where something happens and there's some degree of reactivity that enters into your system. And what I wanna invite us towards is to kind of catch those moments, to engage our observer, catch those moments and work with them. Slow down a little bit, listen into the moment First, it's a moment I notice, we can almost say that the first thing that happens is that we catch that reactivity and we move towards it, okay? Instead of just kind of going around it and continuing or going under it or over it, we, we choose to move towards it, right? We, we catch the moment and we move towards it. And once we move towards it, we can then kind of listen for what is happening. This is the orientations, moving towards, listening, to see kind of what's happening for us, to notice that there's a reactivity, that there's some tension, that there's something that, that entered that isn't just in flow, right? And then often as we kind of catch that, like I'm just gonna use the example for me yesterday, right? I noticed in Pier Paolo's and I conversation that some there was a moment of tension that rose because I didn't like something that, <laughs> that he was suggesting. And, and I caught that reactivity. And I slowed down, I moved towards it, and then I slowed down. And I made a choice, I listened, and I was like, okay, you're not in alignment with this choice or it feels like it's too fast, right? I wanted to go slower, which is different for us. And, and then I allowed that to be. Mm -hmm. Instead of fighting it, instead of trying to make it different, instead of like kind of coming at him, I, 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 I was like, okay, now I'm gonna just allow this and I'm gonna open and I'm gonna to choose to talk to him about this from a place of love. And this was the power. Because I opened my system enough to choose love, to choose the tone in which I communicated, to choose the words that I chose to communicate that I felt it was too fast, right? But instead of making him wrong for being too fast, I simply spoke in a voice of love about 
like, wow, okay, I hear you and this sounds important to you. And this is how you um, feel it in this moment. And I'm catching up with you. Hmm? I'm opening, because as soon as I opened, as soon as I kind of got past my resistance, which is the allowing, hmm? as soon as I then opened, I was able to feel the wisdom in what he was actually bringing forth, that there was actually something in what he was speaking to that was important. And I would have missed that if I hadn't used my orientations to help me navigate that moment and come back and stay centered in a place of love and speak from a place of love. So this is what I'm inviting us towards. To use the orientations, not only in our dance, not only in <clears throat> the larger story of what's happening for us, but this month, let's use them daily in our interactions with other people. Let's use the moving towards to catch the moments that need our attention, that need us to take a moment and work with the orientations, that need a moment to kind of listen, that need a moment to get into a space of allowing what is happening to happen, right? Allowing it to be, letting the energy move, not blocking it right? That's the resistance. That's the opposite of allowing, right? And then see what happens if we create a little more space, if we kind of open our field, not that you have to do anything, but what often happens when we open is that kind of the solution rises, the, the, the more graceful um, answer and the deeper wisdom of what's trying to be expressed or moved or felt in that moment emerges okay so this is what i'm pointing to take that moment and move through those steps so that the opening happens and the information about what is really true for you okay this is that deeper discernment of like small t truth and big t truth okay honesty has way more to do with standing in self-responsibility and big T truth than it does with our small T truth. Because our small T truth is often caught in our own story and in our own wounding. And it doesn't necessarily serve to communicate that, to share from that place. It's much more powerful. And it's a much higher state of consciousness to be able to work with honesty, to understand the personal pattern in the small T truth and reach for the big T truth. And this is what the orientations support. So let's see what happens for us this month if we practice that. Hmm? Okay, thank you for listening to this, for being a part of this community, for being a part of this process of embodied awakening. I'm super excited to share more about it. I have started to write the book and it's gonna take some time, but I'll share bits and pieces along the way. I'll include you in the process and get some feedback from you as well so that we can launch that possibility into the larger field of embodied awakening and what that serves us individually and collectively. Have a beautiful day.